When you start building your new WordPress website, it will always look like this in the front end to your normal visitors, which is not cool, right? How about if we set a coming soon page which will look like this to your normal visitors while in the back end you can continue working on your masterpiece. So your normal visitors will see a coming soon page but you and all the other admins working on the WordPress website will see a normal website in the front end as well as in the back end. Sounds interesting, isn't it? So in this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create coming soon page for our WordPress website the right way. So I'll be showing you two ways by which you can set a coming soon page for your WordPress website. Number one is by using a code snippet and number two is by using a WordPress plugin. So if that sounds interesting, let's dive in. My name is Ankit Sharma and you are watching Brainstorm 4's YouTube channel, the makers of Astra Theme. So for this example, let's say we are building a dental clinic website. Now in order to build this WordPress website, we don't have to start from a blank slate. We are going to use a powerful tool that uses AI to create our website first draft and the tool is ZipWP. All you have to do is just log in in our ZipWP account and just follow the simple steps to provide all the necessary details and that's it. In just a few seconds, we will get an amazing looking website which we can use for our project. And now our first draft is ready. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we have the URL here. So let's open this in a new tab. Of course, this is far better than any WordPress sample page, but surely you want to customize this as per your business need. Maybe you want to add your logo, maybe your banner image and various other service specific images as well. And I'm sure there are a lot of other things that you will surely wish to customize it. And while you are doing all this, we don't want anyone to visit this website. Instead, we want to create a coming soon page that will be visible for our normal website visitors. So first, let's see how we can do that using code snippets. Now, in order to add a code snippet, first we need to create a coming soon page. So this is the coming soon page that we have created. And let me show you how easy it is to create when we use Spectra plugin. So here in our pages, let's click on add new page and let's call it coming soon. And here in the main content area, we will start by adding a container first like this one and we are going to use a full width container and here in the height we are going to set viewport height to 100 so that we can have a full screen container if you go in the style let's go ahead and add a background image and let's upload an image from our media library like this one let's select that and we are also going to add a background overlay. So let's say this one from our color palette. Let's reduce the opacity a little bit. And now let's click on this container to add an image. So we are again going to use the image block from Spectra. And let's upload our logo here from the media library. Here it is. And then we will do some styling here. And now after this, we are going to add a heading. So we will choose the heading block from Spectra again. Let's align this to center and the text will be opening soon. And now we can just go to the style tab and do all the customizations as we want. Now after this, let's go ahead and add another block. We are again going to choose a heading block. And this time the text will be this one. And once we are done with styling, this is going to look like this. And now in order to make it more interesting, we are going to add a countdown here. So let's click on add after and let's look for countdown block again from Spectra. So let's click on this. And here is our countdown. And here from our settings, we can choose the date and time for our countdown here. And once we set that, we can also go to style tab here and do styling of all the elements in this countdown. And once we are done with all the styling, we can make it look like this. And once we are done with all the designing, we can now go to Astra settings here on the top right corner. And here we are going to disable few elements. So we are going to disable our header, footer and the banner area. And once we are done, we just need to click on publish from here. And now we need a plugin which we can use to enter our code snippet. So we go to plugins and then click on add new. And we are going to search for code snippet. And this is the code snippets plugin that we are going to use. So let's click on install and then click on activate. Now once the plugin is installed, we have a new entry here. It's called snippets. Let's click on this. 
And here we already have some default snippets, but we are going to add a new one. So let's click on add new from here and let's call it coming soon code. And this is going to be a function PHP code snippet. And here we are going to paste our code snippet and here is the code. Now, one thing we need to make sure that this thing right here, this is the URL slug of your coming soon page. So make sure we get it right. So if we go to pages, this is our coming soon page. If we click on quick edit, we can get the URL slug from here and we can simply replace this part. Just in case if you have a different URL slug. So these are the two places you need to update the code. And once we are done, we just need to scroll down at the very bottom. And here we need to click on save changes and activate. But before that, let's see what happens when we open this website in a private window. So this is how the website looks in a private window. Anyone visits our website URL, they are going to land up on this page. But now once we save our changes and activate this code snippet, they should now get redirected to the coming soon page. Let's see how it goes. So we click on save changes and activate. Now we come back here in the private window. Let's refresh the page here. And now we can see we are redirected to the coming soon page. But for the logged in users like admin of the website, if you open the site in the new tab right here, it's going to come back here in the normal first draft page that we have created. So this is how we can use this code snippet to set the coming soon page for our website. If that is way too technical for you, let me show you an easy way and that is by using a plugin and not just any plugin. We are going to use Spectra and this is not a plugin just for setting coming soon pages. Spectra plugin is going to supercharge your WordPress setup with some amazing and powerful Gutenberg blocks that works with default block editor. And as we have created our website first draft using zip WP, the Spectra plugin is already installed here. So if we go to Spectra here and then click on settings, and here we have an option for site visibility. Let's click on this. And now we have two options here, enable coming soon mode and enable maintenance mode. Now, as we are just building a fresh website, so we are going to use coming soon mode. But just in case, if your website is live, you can also set the website to the maintenance mode using Spectra plugin itself. So you don't have to install any separate plugin just to set your website for coming soon or maintenance mode. We can use this option in Spectra plugin itself. So let's go ahead and enable our coming soon mode from here. And now we just need to select the page which we want to set as coming soon. So let's select our page here and our changes will be saved automatically now. Once again, if we open this website in a new tab where we are already logged in as an admin, we can see we have our first draft homepage here. Now, if I go ahead and copy the URL and this is what we see in a private window, which means our website is now in coming soon mode for our normal website visitors. And that's it. That's how easy it is when we use a Spectra plugin. So these are the two ways by which you can set your WordPress website in coming soon mode the right way. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and do let us know in the comment section below, would you prefer the code snippet way or the Spectra way? We would love to hear your thoughts on this. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you want to learn how you can create some amazing looking websites using Astra, make sure you go ahead and watch this video right here. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.